What's up guys? Collector B here. Happy Sunday. It is a rainy, crappy day outside, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to make it fun today with opening toys. Toys. Yes. As you can see, we've got some cool stuff here today. So pretty excited to open uh, quite a bit of this. And some of it was just kind of random finds this week, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah, it was. So if you're new, please like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. And for all of you who keep coming back, you know it. You're fantastic. Fantastic. So. For those who aren't, screw you. Whoa. This is a family channel. <laughs> we accept everyone who comes. Even though you don't subscribe, it's all good. We love you all still. <laughs> don't mind her. Okay, so. Um, yeah, today we've got some Pokemon stuff. We've got some Power Ranger stuff. We've got Elliot. And we've got another McFarlane. So, super cool. Um, we do not have Pops today, do we? Boo. Why don't we have Pops today? She's not feeling the best, so no. she didn't want to be on camera today. Yeah, sorry. So, Pops will be back next week. Really cool. But here we go. Let's get into it. So, yeah, we'll start with the Pokemon stuff. The lamest stuff. And this, my whole room is just falling over today. It's just not fun. So, the lamest stuff. What are you talking about? All right. So, we've got another one of these sets from Pokemon Select. So, this is Series 1. What do they call this one? Summer Forest Environment and Figure Display Pack. Pack. Yeah, pretty cool. So there it is. Found this guy at GameStop. It was $17.99. I've only seen this one at GameStop, which is kind of weird. We've seen the other two at Targets, but I don't know. I'm sure you can find this one at Target. I just have not been lucky to find it. So you do get Bulbasaur on there and you do get Applin, which I didn't even realize was on there for the longest time because he is like an apple. But so kind of cool. And then again, on the back, you have the one I showed before. You have the water one, which I have seen. Now that I'm looking at my Pokemon stuff, I kind of need that water dial because I have a lot of water Pokemon. But I just don't want those two water Pokemon. So I don't know. We'll see. So here we go. Yeah, I walked into GameStop yesterday. They still have a lot of stuff on clearance. Uh, but what, it's 20% off now? Yeah. It's 20% off, not... Um, not 50% off, which that sale was fantastic. Um, we did see the Blue Ranger helmet. I'm gonna wait till that goes on sale. We did see a couple other things, but nothing crazy, huh? Mm -hmm. A lot of old stuff there. This was about the newest thing they had. So, um, yeah, let's see how it is. Boom. <clears throat> the only thing I hate about these Pokemon figures is I feel like when they do do people that they've done like quite a bit like the pikachu or bulbasaur or any of these guys they just put them in the same pose almost all the time like there's a lot of pikachus that you can get figure wise and some of them are in different poses but a lot of them are the same pose so um kind of a bummer but there it is and we will pop it open you see bulbasaur is waiting to come out interesting too to do again um you know they did the zubat and tyrant last time and then this time like bulbasaur is definitely one to do but then applin very random um they probably did it because it was super easy to do because he's an apple and of course there's no articulation because he's an apple <laughs> so there is applin He's pretty cool, though. I do like Applin. He was one of my uh, favorite newer guys when Sword and Shield came out. Um, of course, he is Dragon and Apple. Grass. Yeah, when he evolves, he turns into a dragon. So even though he evolves two different ways, he evolves into Appleton and Flapple, I think. So there is fruit Pokemon. There is fruit Pokemon, <laughs> yes. So, and then we've got Babazar, which is really cool. But they always give him... It's like it's always just Ash's Bulbasaur because that's just what he did all the time. That little wink face, which is cool. Again, no movement in Bulbasaur either. Um, so kind of a bummer these don't have any movement. But like I said, I'm pretty much buying these for these Dio pieces. I think they're pretty cool for, you know, $17. So let's scoop all these ties in. I like your fancy new table. I know. We did get a new table. It's actually the exact same table we had, except we comic booked that one. So, uh yeah crazy right so um so here it is and it almost looks like these branches would come off but they don't but it is pretty solid 
so there it is i like how solid these are i feel like the base on these are a lot more solid than like um the mcfarland two pack bases that they do but you know it's just a little base nothing moves on it you have a little area here and little areas on top of the um leaves that you could put pokemon on but nothing crazy but you see what i'm saying it almost looks like you could like take those branches mm -hmm. off to where It'd they be are cool if you could move them just it would to... be really cool just to make it different here <clears throat> and there would be really awesome but i don't think they'll do that for 17 dollars. you know mm -hmm. but i mean with these there it's not a bad price you get you know 17 dollars for a dial piece and then two pokemon not bad. I actually like these two, especially out of the packaging. They look pretty cool. Applin looks actually pretty dope. So, um, like I said, you can put them wherever you want. So, there they are up on there. And they look pretty good on there. I actually only have one more um, grass Pokemon in my guys. And it is Sir Quacks a lot, like the wife says, or Sir Fetched. But oh, his. Oh, oh, there went Applin. He's not going to stand. Let's see if we can get him on top. So the only problem is sometimes these are not big enough for some of the other guys. He's not going to stand because his sword holds him up. So there you go. There, there we go. Let it's me see Apple in there. Too big. He is a little too big. So kind of a bummer. Uh, but like I said, it is cool. You can interchange the Pokemon wherever you want to put them. Yeah, it's um, nice that they're not stuck. Yeah, and they it. give you, you know, different areas to put them. I do wish, like you said, you could move these so then you could put somebody on, like, every branch. But mm -hmm. it still is pretty cool. So, I mean, again, $17. It's nothing crazy. The Pokemon don't move. But I do like it. It's cool little dial pieces. And I think if you kind of put them all together, it would look cool. Or, like, I don't want to spend the money on this, but I'd love to get, like, five of those. You know what I mean? Of, like, oh. the same one and kind of, like, build a forest and then, mm -hmm. like, build a cave. That would be really cool. But... Oh, so but this is series one so we'll see maybe series two will have different ones or maybe they'll just do like another grass one that's a little different with other grass pokemon we'll have to see so um i like it again gamestop um apparently target as well i have not seen this one at target though so is what it is but we did find this at target <sighs> boom yes charizard evolution multi-pack so super cool um if you guys have watched my channel i have done what do we do? We've done Blastoise of this. We have done the Evolution pack of this, the Arcanine Growlithe pack of this, and I think that's it. They did come out with a Pichu, Pikachu, Raichu one. Um, there's a Cubone, Marowak one. I haven't grabbed those ones. Those ones are... I have too many Pikachus. I really want the Raichu, but I don't want the Pichu and the other Pikachu. So, but this, really cool. Um, actually found this at that same Target that we found Dragapult and Typhlosion at. So I haven't seen this a lot. I know a bunch of other people have seen it, but this is my first time seeing it. So we did grab it because, you know, Charizard is my boy. So it does look like Charizard is going to be able to move in this. It looks like his wings move. And um, blast And stuff. he has blast effects, which is kind of like the Blastoise one, which I'm actually going to grab those so we can kind of see a comparison. Um, these are going to be Glitterati, which I'm not a huge fan of, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's see. There's them. And... Yes, I did want to bring him in too, so should have grabbed these earlier, but kind of show a comparison since they did do Blastoise as well. So I'm hoping that means that they do uh, Bulbasaur's, so they do Venusaur, because I've been wanting a Venusaur. I'd rather them make Venusaur uh, in the big selects, because I think that would be really cool, especially if they made his flowers move and stuff like that, but we'll see. So had to get this. Charizard is one of my favorite fire pokemon so always down to get new charizard stuff these though these are kind of interesting these are 24 dollars. i mean you get three figures one of them's gonna move but these are more expensive than the bigger selects which doesn't really make sense to me but that's okay so plus these are glittery um you guys have heard me before i'm not a huge fan of them being glittery but they do look okay so here is Charmander. Man, well, it almost looks like his head would move. You know, he doesn't look terrible glittery, I will say. He does look okay. But, like, when you turn him, to me, it looks like his head would move a little bit. 
he's actually pretty good paint apps on him these ones like i said before um you definitely gotta look because some of them are really bad so if you really want to get one that doesn't have a scuff on his head or anything you gotta pretty much look um i did want to see it is a different pose isn't it I thought maybe it was the same exact pose of that Charmander, which I don't even remember what he came with. He came with something, I don't know. But they are a little different, so that is cool. I do like that they gave different poses. Um, what's funny, though, is, like, look at the tail. Look how different the flame is. Interesting, right? So I don't remember what this one was from, guys. So, But there is Charmander from there. Um, and we will put him next to the Squirtle from the Squirtle Evolution Pack. So you can see about the same size, everything. So it looks pretty good together. And now we've got Charmeleon, which Charmeleon is dope. He does move. Um, Charmeleon is pretty cool. I have not had a Charmeleon yet, so this is quite nice. Um, his legs do move, which is nice. His arms do move, and his head does move. So I'm actually yeah he looks he looks pretty cool actually let's see how i can get him to stand there it is charmeleon which is pretty cool i actually really like this charmeleon um they don't make a lot of charmeleon because i feel like everybody likes charmander and charizard and charmeleon just kind of is there but charmeleon's pretty cool to me um, but it is pretty cool that his legs do move and his head moves and his arms move. And you can see again, he is glittery and he is bigger than Charmander and Squirtle, which is fantastic. And the wife just wants to keep pushing him over. I'll That's put him straight up for you. Well. Oh, kind of wish his feet didn't move. <clears throat> there he is. Charmeleon. So there's Charmeleon. Um, so he's just like this War Turtle. The War Turtle, same thing, did have movement not anything crazy but as you can see they're about the same size again so really cool that they just i do like these evolution packs they do like to uh, do the size stuff really well so there's those and now we will get to charizard so charizard does come with his fire blast or his flamethrower this one looks like crap to me i just feel like they didn't even finish it Looks pretty bad, actually, but I don't care. Oh, yeah, what the? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, but we will see Charizard. It is interesting that they let Charizard and Blastoise. Ew. Yeah, this thing's not made very well. I don't understand these either. Ugh. Yeah, this does not look that great. Um, wow. He looks broken everywhere. Wow. Okay. Kind of <laughs> disappointing. Um, so there is Charizard. <clears throat> he just looks like he has broken pieces everywhere. So Why is he split in half? Like, all the way down his body, up his yeah, head? Yeah, I like, know. That looks well, bad. And, like, look at his foot there. It looks almost like it's ripping apart kind of interesting um i mean you look at the side look at these pieces i don't really understand what those are so kind of weird and you guys have seen that his mouth does open but it like it's a hungry hippo <laughs> right hungry <laughs> hungry hippo um yeah the paint on him's not very good he just yeah i, I don't know why I feel like they tried to give him more movement than the others, and it just kind of failed with everything else. It's okay. Like, I'm fine with it because it's a little bit smaller Charizard compared to, like, my other ones, which is cool. But, um, yeah, it doesn't look the best. The wings do move, which is nice. I'm really happy that those move. And as you saw, his mouth does open. It just doesn't stay very well. Like, you are forced to either do this. I mean, I guess you could probably get it to stay. Um, his arms do move, which is nice. His legs do. Oh, that's interesting. Huh, interesting. Okay, so his legs do move. Maybe that's how you shoot it. Interesting. Um, the tail. That does it like does. That it does. I'm not sure if it's supposed to, though. Not very well. Um, so kind of, kind of a disappointment. 
Um, there he is, and then we'll bring in Blastoise here so you guys can see. So again, it does scale really well with the Blastoise. I think the Blastoise is way better done. Mm -hmm. um, there's not as much movement in the Blastoise as, you know, at like Charizard, but they both come with stuff to shoot. So let's stick this in his mouth. Boom. Oh. Kind of weird that they did it with the legs, though. Um, I don't know really how I feel about that. But it is cool that you can have it in his mouth and it shuts all the way. I do like that. Um, but, yeah, kind of weird that it's like that. And it doesn't shoot that well, well <laughs> compared to, like, the Blastoise. But so there it is. <clears throat> there is the Charizard Evolution Pack compared to the Blastoise one. Um I really, really like this Charmeleon a lot. I think this is the best out of all of them. Uh, the Charizard's kind of a miss. I'm okay with it, but yeah, for twenty four dollars, so you probably spend around twenty six once, um, you know, tax hits and everything. These are okay. That's why I'm kind of been picky with them, but you know, I like Pokemon, so really cool. So we will put. Squirtle, Waller, Turtle, and Blastoise back here. And we will put these three next to each other. I do like the Charmeleon. If you're looking for a Charmeleon, I would say this would be a good set to get. Because he does move a little bit, which isn't bad. So, they don't look bad. But not great. I wonder... Ah! That doesn't look half bad. No. It doesn't. That's why, like, these are kind of cool, too, because these will fit on, like, these as well. So, um, not terrible. Not amazing. So, you guys will have to let me know what you guys think about these evolution packs. I think they're kind of cool. So. Lame. Lame. Okay. Lame sauce. Where's your pops today? Oh, yeah. Lame sauce. Okay. Anyways. So, next thing we got, um, and I already have this, but I have not opened it for you guys because, as you can see, I... Don't open a lot of them or I get doubles. But we got, boom, we walked into Target. Well, I walked into Target and boom, we got Adam. Adam Park from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So really cool. Again, you know, they've made Zack twice as the Black Power Ranger. And finally, they made Adam as the Ninjetti. But now this is Adam uh, in the regular Mighty Morphin Power Ranger uh, black suit, which is awesome. Mastodon, I almost said Tyrannosaur, which makes no sense. Um, but he is in the new wave. I don't know who else. It's not Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, so I don't really collect them. So I didn't grab him. But he was the only one there of this one. So pretty cool to get him because I did want to open him. Um, Adam is awesome. Or should I say Johnny Young Bosch is awesome because he's pretty much some of my favorite characters all over. So really cool. Um, my one in box I definitely am going to take with me. When he's at an, uh, another con soon, he should be out here in June, which I'm pretty excited about. So definitely going to take a couple things for him to sign because he's awesome. So, um, and again, look how nice this box is, isn't it? I wish they would stay with these. I really, really do. So he comes with, uh, again, they did the whole process where it's the sword, the gun, and what goes in the holder. He does come with two fist hands. He does come with that effect, which I believe goes on this gun. And I think he only used this gun in like season three, four. I, I don't know. My buddy Mark would know better. Um, but Zach never, I don't think Zach ever used this gun. I don't think. I don't remember. And then, of course, you get uh, Adam's face sculpt, which is not the best. Terrible, but <laughs> not amazing. So, um,. I'm not going to lie, though, like, I'm kind of sick of all these guns. Like, I I know why they're giving it to you, but, like, I don't need them that many times. I think I said this last time we got them, um, because they just, every they're single just one. Lame. Well, just every single one now. You come with the blaster, it comes with the sword, and then it comes with the one in the holder. I mean, a lot of people will disagree with me, because for the longest time, we only got this one. That would just go in the holder. So, I mean, it is nice to have the gun and stuff like that. But, um, I don't know. Just every one now comes with them. So, it's kind of interesting. Doo -doo -doo. And we've got fist hands. <clears throat> so, he comes with hands to hold stuff on. And he comes with fist hands. Paint looks fantastic on this, though. I will say. I hope so. It's white. Great. 
Oh, <laughs> you would hope so, wouldn't you? And you get this gun and this effect. Like I said, I do not remember this gun at all. Um, my buddy Mark, MMPR fan 94, would know for sure. It's from episode three, you season don't know. four. You haven't even watched episode or season <laughs> four. So, pretty cool gun though. I like the effect, it's a little bent. But not bad. I do like the coloring on it. It's nice. It has a little bit of a green, a little gold, a little silver. Not bad. I probably won't pose him with it. I... Are they going to catch a shark or something? Yeah, it's his harpoon. Jaws? They're in Jaws. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah. So, and then we've got Adam's face sculpt, which I should have brought out. What? Yeah, my Ninjetti of him. Um, I think the Ninjetti face looks better but maybe it's because this one they gave him like a five head you know like the ninjetti he's got the bandana on his head so it doesn't look as bad um that face sculpt doesn't look terrible though it's better than like the jason out of the two pack i would say yeah <coughs> but it's not amazing <coughs> wow his head's super loose and then we've got the Black Power Ranger. So um, I would show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the original one open, but I do not have it open. My only open Black Power Ranger is the one with the shield. I guess I could show that one. Um, but here is, he's not going to stand. We've got some McFarlane ankles going on here. There is. It looks like he's a bobblehead. Yeah, his head is super loose. There is Adam, Power Ranger, the Black Power Ranger. So, um, again, nothing crazy. You're basically getting the same Power Ranger of the Mastodon. It's not the movie one, which would be really cool. I wish they would make the movie ones. Um, paint's not that great. Paint's not amazing, but that's okay. And you do, but it's nice that you get Adam's head and you get an alternate weapon. So. Um, I don't know how many people will pick this up because, you know, it is another Black Power Ranger. But, you know, it is nice that it's actually Adam this time. Like I said, I plan on getting my other ones signed. So that is pretty cool. And we are excited about the anniversary. We? Well, I am. Episode that's coming out on Netflix. Super cool. He'll be back in it. Uh, pretty awesome. But Kimberly won't be in it. Wonder why. Yeah, she's kind of mean. But... There we go. So, I mean, nothing crazy. I do like it. I'm, I'm glad I picked it up. I'm a big Mighty Morphin Power Ranger fan. Again, like the wife said, paint's okay. Nothing crazy, but not amazing. And like I said, his head yeah. is pretty loose. So, uh, kind of interesting <clears throat> there. But, I mean, as far as articulation, wow, he's super tight too. So, um, he does have thigh swivel, no toe joint. Good knees, double knees. They, I mean, these Power Rangers are always can go pretty, pretty nice there. Um, he's got the bicep swivel. Arms are good. They are very tight. But that's the one thing too is when you have these like black and white figures, anytime you start moving them, it scuffs up like that white there. And then his head goes up. His head can go pretty far down. But again, like I said, it's well now it's not. It's just in a weird spot. It almost looks like it's cracking as well on his neck. Oh, so I'm yeah. kind of scared to take off his head, but... I'm going to do it anyways. Oh my gosh. Don't. Don't. Yeah. Don't. Um, might have to heat this one up for real. <laughs> so I was going to put Adam's head on, but I guess we're not going to do that because, yeah, it sounds like it's going to snap off, um, which is fine. I usually don't display them with their uh, civilian heads on just because... I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the civilian heads. I'd rather them just, like, if I want Power Rangers, I want them in their, you know, helmets. That's just me, though. So, the only thing, I wish there was kind of like a holder there, because this looks like a gun that you're going to hold with two hands, you know, so I guess like that. And 
There he is. So, not bad. I mean, I like it. Again, I'm a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger fan, so it's cool. Um, definitely, I mean, if you have the other ones, unless you really want this Adam head sculpt, which looks okay, um, I don't think you necessarily have to get it. I do like that it came with fist hands. Pretty cool. The accessories okay. I just have always thought the axe is way better. So, um, yeah, there it is. What do you think? You hate it. You don't Another hate it. Ranger. You just don't like Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. If you guys couldn't tell by some of the videos, the wife is not a big Power Ranger fan. Or Pokemon so ever. Yeah, so she loves all this yeah, right there. Great so. <laughs> start to the video. So, pretty cool there. Um, so that was at Target. I believe people have found it at Walmart too. So, it's again, it's a new wave. There's a green one. I think there's a blue one. I don't know if it's Dino Fury or Dino Force or what, whatever the new one is. I just don't know. So... But yeah, there you go. So only thing that does suck about these two is they are more expensive. What did I say this was? It was twenty six six or twenty five. Like they went up in price. So um it kind of boggles my mind why I get I get Hasbro's doing it. They're raising prices on everything, but why this is twenty five, twenty six and McFarland's still putting stuff out at nineteen. I understand McFarland doesn't give you as many accessories, but the paint apps aren't great on these. The accessories he came with aren't amazing. So kind of interesting. Um, Hasbro is losing quite a bit of people right now, I would say. I know a lot of people are starting to stop Marvel Legends. And if it wasn't for Power Rangers, I probably wouldn't buy a lot of Hasbro. So, But let's go. We got the next thing. Uh, your choice. What do you want to see first? Let's do Dead Man. And we'll save Elliot for last, right? Oh, my god! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, we finally got... One of your hairs is on there. We finally got... Boom. Gold label. McFarlane. Dead man. So... Is he alive? He is an alive man. <laughs> um, so, again, I still have not seen this in store. We've been to every Target, and I can't find it. I can see the stupid Aquaman everywhere. Um, if you watched my video last week, we found Eradicator at Walmart. We found the Vampire Batman at Walmart, which we haven't seen again. Um, but I can't find this guy. So, I don't know. And again, he does have that sticker. And there went a freedom par. How's it look? We okay? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. It was 75%. Um, well, yeah, you messed it up again. So, but, um, yeah, so, still haven't found him. But again... My boy Ryan coming in the clutch. He actually ordered it off Target. He got two of them and they came. I thought about ordering it, but I was like, you know what? We're going to find it. We're for sure going to find it. We still haven't seen it. Nope. So, um, this, I know he's huge in Justice League Dark, you know, with Swamp Thing and Constantine and I think Zatanna, or sorry, Etrigan, but Zatanna's in Justice League Dark too. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this guy. I think he's cool. I'm actually pretty excited to open him up. But this wasn't one where I was like, man, I have to have Dead Man. I know a lot of people really like this. But, I don't know. To me, his costume is kind of boring. What and does he do? He's a dead man. What's his power? Being dead. I don't know. I guess you'll have to read the comic, huh? I do like... Someone just comment down below what his power is. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I do like the... Con the uh back of the box so it looks cool he's got the red chains all around him he didn't um, come with any red chains no why would he come with that, <laughs> huh why would he but again like he's just not one why did they do that so weird um he's just not one that i was just like oh man like so stoked for dead man and again i know a lot of people were but <coughs> me eh. but the card does look cool i do like the card and again, he does come with the stand. So, yay. <laughs> um, so, he does come with these effects, which when I saw this go up for pre-order too, I was like, eh, like those effects are okay, I guess. I mean, we got something. I just said that, you know, he didn't come with very good effects. Well, neither does he. So, where does this even go? This is going to be fun. Uh, there's that effect. I don't know where that goes. Um, so you guys know, when I open this stuff up, I don't watch a ton of reviews. I don't usually watch where stuff goes. So I'm kind of just doing this on the whim for you guys. Um, and then he comes with two more of these. Oh, it's him. Did you see? Oh, it is. It's Voldemort. 
Don't say it. Voldemort. Voldemort. <laughs> Interesting. I'm curious how that hooks on. So it's got a hook on somewhere like that. Um, and then you get two more of these effects, which they kind of look like smoke to me. They're okay. I don't like dislike them. I just don't think they're anything amazing. You get a bigger one and a smaller one there. And he's all zip tied in this box. This dude's got some skinny arms though. Dead man missed leg day. Oh, well, I said arms. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Arm like, day. Uh, Sorry. Uh, okay. All right. Here we go. Everyone has been telling me how just amazing this figure is. Yeah. You know, he. I love his face sculpt. I really do. I think this face sculpt is good. Oh. Uh, I found out where it goes. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so, well, let's see if we can get him to stand. Ugh, bust some ankles. Bust some ankles. He's, he's going to stand. I can feel it. There he is. So, um, I really like the face sculpt. I like that they gave you one fist hand and one kind of uh, hand, which is cool. Not a huge fan of this thing. I I know that's what it's supposed to be. I just don't really like it. And his costume, again, it's just boring to me. Like, I do like him. It's just nothing crazy. It's just red everywhere. It looks good, honestly. It just... Yeah, I don't know. Interesting that his arms do have that, like, build-a-figure effect, almost, where the ring, the butterfly... I think it's butterfly, or maybe it's not, but it's that circle ring that goes in there. So interesting when he does it for the regular figures and the build of figures i don't know what makes him decide who gets those but kind of interesting there um yeah i mean there's not much to it right it looks cool red man red man yeah method man and no <laughs> okay <laughs> red man. okay there we go um i just yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not knocking this at all. No, I just, the face looks really good. The face good. looks really good, but I, I don't Looks know. like the dude on uh, Game of Thrones, not that I've watched Oh, it. the Frost King, right? Is that his name? Yeah, we've we've seen like two don't episodes know. of Game of Thrones, so if I so if it's not the Frost King, then you'll have to let me know. But yeah, it definitely does, for sure. I mean, um, it doesn't have spots. I just... I think it's cool. I really do. I just don't think it's amazing. Um, as far as articulation, same thing, you know, it's a McFarlane, boom, boom, got the toe joint, um, he can do the splits pretty well, arms, again, like I said, have that mm. circle thing there, so they, these do move really well when they do that, um, he does have the bicep swivel, and then he's got that split joint for these Oh. wrists again which is interesting i'm not a huge fan of those they do they allow broken, you though. yeah they do allow you to move that wrist a lot but i don't know um but kind of disappointing here to where how's his head oh it okay does. so peekaboo <laughs> um so you can't get his head all the way around i was not sure if you were going to be able to um as far as up that's as far as he goes up and he does go pretty far down. That's not terrible. So um, where I thought that this thing was going to be crazy restricting, it's not. there's not much movement in this thing, though. It's pretty stiff. I mean, you could spread it out over time or bring it back in. Um, there is some marks there, but nothing crazy. And then ab crunch, not, no, not existent. So this thing, I did find out where it goes. So there's a peg right behind his back here. So Peg hole. Peg hole, yep. That's kind of cool. That actually makes him a lot better looking. It's like a symbiote coming out. Um, these guys, I don't know exactly where these go. I'm guessing you could just throw them on his arms or his... Uh, yeah. I just, I'm not ever a huge fan of these things just because it's like... I'm sure there's actually a specific spot it's supposed to go, but it's like they don't ever show it on the box. And like I said, I'm just doing this on a, I'm just opening it and trying to figure it out with you guys. So I don't necessarily look, but we'll do that. That looks fine, I guess. And this one's kind of interesting. 
And we'll just throw this one on his hand. Not a huge fan of those wrist joints, though. They just kind of are funny. <clears throat> they move very well, but... All right. So there he is with all his smoke or whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's cool. It looks pretty cool. I do like this piece. I wish this piece was like a darker color, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know what I would want it to you be. You don't even know what he does. You don't even know what he does, but um, it looks cool. I I, I like it. I'm not, I don't really have uh, an issue with this guy at all. It's just nothing that I'm just like crazy super excited about. Um, it is crazy to see the scale. You know, everybody compares uh, complains about McFarlane's scale, but I like the bigger figures. To me, I mean, the Power Rangers to me they're teenagers, so they should be smaller. Dead man's not a teenager. He's a dead man. He could be. It's Voldemort, okay? You don't know when he died. 1912. But was he a teenager? No. When he died? He was Voldemort. Harry's parents messed him up, and then Harry came back and messed him up, too. So, Harry! but... <laughs> Harry! <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, he's cool. I actually do like this piece a lot. Um, yeah. I mean, he looks cool. He looks a lot better, me looking at him front ways than from the back. This is the view I get when I'm reviewing for you guys, so it's kind of hard for me. I'm you like, like looking at butts? I guess, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yeah, so. Um, but yeah, so he is a Target exclusive. So if you have not found him yet, good luck. Um, I'm right there with you. I have not found him. I am lucky that I have some good friends um apparently every one of my collecting friends have found this thing except for me so i got offered it a bunch of times finally we got it um still have not seen it by me i'm sure probably tomorrow we'll run into it because that's just how it happens so um that's why i always say get into these groups uh get to know some people because there's a lot of good people out there there's a lot of shady people out there you got to watch for them but there's a lot of good people in these groups that will help you out so again target gold label gold label if you have not seen, he is dropping a uh, exclusively on the McFarland Toy Store, the uh, Dick Grayson Robin, which I'll post a picture right here. Um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty much a reuse of Carrie Kelly's body. So I know a lot of you don't like Carrie Kelly, but I love Carrie Kelly. So um, I'll probably get it. The Dick Grayson head does look really cool. So McFarland's just going to keep coming out with stuff, isn't he? Excuse me. Yep. So, last thing we got, and I'm pretty excited for this, actually. Again, I know a lot of people hate it on this, but we're going to do it. But first, I'm going to move some things. We're going to put Voldemort over here. Now I need to get a Harry. Harry. You know, his, he made me think of is if they did a Funko Pop of Michael with his head on his shoulder. <laughs> That would be good. So, back to what we're talking about today. Boom! NECA E.T. What is this one called? What does it even say? E.T. and e. Elliot. E.T. and Elliot with bicycles. So, um, if you guys have watched my videos, which for some reason this E.T. video keeps going up. I don't know why, but um, I did unbox all the other NECA E.T.'s. Um, this is the last one. Let's not break this one. Yeah, we, we will try not to. Um, this is the last one I believe I need. This is the last one I believe they came out with until they come out with more. Uh, but found this at Target. That's right. You know what's crazy? We didn't see any of these yesterday at Target, did we? I did. This one? Mm hmm Okay. Never mind, guys. So um, <laughs> this one is E.T. and Elliot on the bicycle. I don't think there's much articulation, but like I tell everyone else, you can pretty much evil Knievel this thing. I believe the bike will roll around, which is really cool. And it does come with a background piece for you to stick them on. That is why the box is so big. Um, first time we both saw this, we we're like, why is the box so big? It's just him on the bike, but it does come with a background for you to clip them in. So I'm excited. Um, you know, a lot of people... And there goes Voldemort. Um, a lot of people probably won't like this just because I think you can't do it. Just because it's not articulated very much. Um, but I'm okay with it. To me, E.T. is just such a nostalgic thing for me. Um, they have come out with ALF, which... 
I don't like Elf. So he eats cats. You can't eat cats, Elf. You can't eat cats. So we didn't grab Elf. We did see him yesterday. Um, but I'm not going to grab that guy. So, oh, that's kind of cool there. All right. So that's just the background. Nothing. I didn't even open it for you to see it in the box. How rude. I forgot. Um, but here is the background piece. And honestly. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. How fancy. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Kind of cool, Stu. So, um, it just is like a <clears throat> triangle prop up, which is cool. But it is, I mean, like, I mean, it's not like, what is, what is that? It's like a thicker cardboard almost, but it's not cardboard. It's almost it's, like a hardback yeah, book. Almost, Stu. Like Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's <laughs> Stone, right? Harry. I only had the paperback. Oh, my sister had I didn't the read them, though. Loser. I only read to the fourth one. And then I was like, this book is way too long. So, but so there's the, sorry guys, we'll get out off of Harry Potter today. Neither one of us like, like Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. And we're just talking about Harry Potter. So, um, pretty cool. I mean, I do like that they gave you this because, you know, if you want to display them up in the air, that's really cool. So kind of nice that they gave you that. There's no instructions. Great. Great guys. All right. So this comes off. So, we have this piece <laughs> that has wheels on it. This is going to be fun to figure out. Uh, there's that. <laughs> I believe these are just the pegs right here to put him on the background. Ah, okay. Well, the wife just figured it out. So, there's the pegs. I believe those just go into the background to hold them up for you. And then there's these clips as well, which, again, I'm already confused. So <laughs> we'll it's figure not it that out. difficult, folks. We'll no. figure it out. Coming from somebody who didn't even do her pops today. You can can it. You can can it, Harry. Okay. Okay. I don't know why I was doing the like Jurassic Park theme song for this. Oh, there's articulation. Look at that. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have fun with this. All right. So here he is. He's not going to stand on his he own. training wheels. But as you can see, the wheels do roll. Um, I'm loving his shoes. Those Nikes are fire, which is really cool. What are you looking at? They're dirty. Come on. No, that's, I mean off-brand nikes okay I guess. but this is cool that the whole wheel does turn you can see et in there kind of a, oh he does he comes out ah, <laughs> elliot so kind of funny it's just the head i didn't realize he came out i for sure thought he would not come out of there um but pretty cool because i guess we could put someone else in the basket with elliot Look at that! Oh yeah! We're gonna have to do, like, some Pokemon picture with Elliot. Come on. So, uh, yeah, I'm already digging this thing. The fact that E.T. comes out, that's fantastic. Uh, just in his towel, he looks so happy it's a there. blanket. Okay, his blanket. Whatever, dude. Um, again, no articulation in Elliot besides his head. He looks scared just... But yeah, you have those creepers coming after you. I but he's got E.T. I would have been like, E.T., mess him up. Let's go. <laughs> but um, so his head does move, which is nice. I mean, you could have him possessed there, <laughs> like ring girl. Um, but, I mean, it does have really good movement in the head. I do like that. Again, the arms don't move. The legs don't move. And he doesn't come off the bike. It would have been nice is if they would have made him come off the bike and had movement. But I think they didn't do that because, like, he's set in this position. It'd be hard to get him on this bike. This bike's kind of flimsy. I do like how the bike looks, though. The tires look good. The paint looks good. The details look good. I'm sorry I'm just like this for you guys yeah, right Jesus. now. Um, I just... It's a bike. <laughs> it is really cool, though. I, I'm, actually, oh, I'm actually digging it pretty good here. So, let's see... Figure out this evil Knievel. Well, that was 
cool. Okay, let's try it again. Whoa! <laughs> okay, guys, you better watch because he's gonna fly by in a flash. Whoa! <laughs> this is not very good. Am I doing something wrong? Probably. What am I doing wrong here? That's definitely where it goes. It's like he's too heavy for it. I mean, that's the only spot that can go, right? There, there we go. go. That was fantastic. Okay. So I am a little special. It took me a while, but, that, but that's kind of cool. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but it is really cool. I, I love these little toy things like this. I think it's... Oh, Jesus. Okay. Dang. You have to we're, make sure so, it clicks. Yeah, we're going to have to get a ramp. Yeah, so, okay, like she said... And E.T. is down. Did the basket fall off, too? You broke it, bro. No. Oh, my gosh. You no. break everything. Oh, okay. Does that, it come back? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> this comes off, by the way. So you could do him on one. Oh, he's done, you know. Um, that comes off. I'm glad that comes off, though, because, yeah, I can see how you break that. Um, pretty cool that E.T. comes out. I mean, it's pretty cool. I, I like it. I think that's a really cool little thing to do. and Really cool. Um, let's see. Yeah, I know. I'm a loser. It's all good. So... I'm going to take him 30 minutes to figure out how to put it on. Yeah, I don't really know how this works. <laughs> I know they're, like, supposed to clip. Does that go... The clips on clip here? on. Yeah, but then how does this go in? Does that go behind? It goes through, bro. Yep. How am I supposed to get it through? What do you mean? Because I think what it does is... Yeah, that's definitely what it does. Did you see where that went? No. Oh, no. I got it. We're good. We're good, guys. Sorry. All right. Let's see if we can do this. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if this is correct, but this seems correct to me. I just can't find it. I think that goes on. having issues pretty sure you have to put these through here and then these clips go on here and then these clip onto the bike somehow on there. I'm sure there's like an actual spot it's supposed to. Oh goodness gracious. You have them facing the wrong way. <laughs> you want to do this? <laughs> this is a pain though. Like I'm probably doing this wrong. And, like, they're really close, so how am I supposed to get them cropped up in the air here? Let's see. There we go. Stupid. <laughs> see, I feel like I'm just going to break this. These clips do not go on here. All right. Pause for two seconds. Let's figure this out. We got it. We got it. Okay, so there he is in display mode. It is kind of a pain. Um, it's just hard because this whole thing doesn't open. It'd be nice if like this whole thing opened up and then you put it together so you could really get your hand back here. Um, but basically those pegs go through. I don't know if you can see them. And they just clip onto the bike there, which isn't bad. It actually holds better than I thought it would. When you put one of them on and you're like, this is not going to hold. This feels like crap. You put the other one on and it does hold them very good. 
Um, only thing that's kind of a bummer is you kind of want him, you know, in an up position, like he's flying up in the air, like he this. He is. Yeah, but more, Not, like yeah. I would want more, more which I'm sure if I fig got played <clears throat> around with it, you probably could, but um, this is what it's supposed to be on there. So, I mean, I like it. It's pretty cool now, but I don't, like, I guess, <laughs> there you go, you know, so um, I do kind of like the Evil Knievel thing. <coughs> it does kind of suck, though. I really wish, like, I'm glad they gave you this background. But I wish they kind of would have given you a stand just to put the bike on they as did. well. Huh? They did. That thing. I get it. But like, just, I don't know. It's not, it doesn't stand that well. So it is cool. I just don't think I'm ever going to take it off because that was a pain to get on. The other thing too, I wish maybe he will. No, he doesn't even fit in the basket that way. So kind of a bummer i kind of wish et was able to turn his head as well um just because you can turn elliot's head but i do like it i i like it i'm glad it rolls around it's pretty cool um and we got some pretty cool things today i'm actually pretty stoked honestly i think the pokemon stuff was better minus this charizard than i thought it was gonna be um the power ranger is pretty cool you know voldemort is pretty awesome as well he's not bad and this is I mean, <laughs> I had to get it. We got all the other ETs, right? So, pretty cool. So, again, uh, GameStop, Target, 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 Target. Okay, well, not my Target, but, you know, whatever. So, yeah, that's what we got today. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, curious how this week goes, because, I mean, I'm waiting on a lot of pre-orders, but there's really nothing crazy I'm looking for right now. So, maybe it will just be Pops next week because i don't know we'll have to see but um follow us on instagram link will be in the description below are we gonna do a picture today probably not probably not but you know whatever we'll see um maybe doing some lives with some other people this week i'll let you guys know if that happens might be on facebook might be on instagram we'll see um i don't know we're just kind of uh enjoying it right now aren't we i mean Nothing crazy going on, just chilling out, maxing, relaxing all cool. Doing what you want. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed all this stuff. You guys will have to let me know what you guys think. Um, and again, I did say this a couple videos again. We probably will be doing a live soon with me and Collector A here, maybe like a Q&A while we're opening up stuff. So let us know if you guys um if you guys would like that and if we should do it on youtube or instagram let me know what you guys think i don't really care where we do it but um we may do that pretty soon here so yeah just you know you guys are amazing i appreciate you guys you guys are fantastic i love that somebody gets enjoyment of me making myself look kind of dumb putting stuff together um you know it is what it is right we're all collectors we love it this is what we geek out about so uh thanks for coming i appreciate you guys and as always collectors Never stop collecting. <laughs>